Enclosure for Solar SV08. Can we print ABS now? What about quality of the PLA printing? Is it quieter? Well, it's time to find out. Hello, welcome back. This is Sobol SV08, some kind of Warren 2.4 clone, very popular open source printer, only this arrived pre-assembled. And if you want to print ABS, ASA on it, we need some kind of enclosure. So I sent me these panels, I got this box free of charge, but I'm not paid anything about this. And I want to answer a few main questions, like if you are able to print ABS, what will be the temperature inside? But also I want to see the effect of the enclosure to quality of printing with PLA because PLA needs a lot of cooling, so even if I leave the doors open, I want to see if there will be some quality reduction. Also, I want to see what will be the maximal Z coordinate, because uh, with that top panel we will have some limitation, and I don't want to use the razor, which I could print. And another thing, I want to see what will be the noise reduction. I don't expect a big change here, because those panels may reduce the fan from this uh, hot end, but uh, most of the noise came from the bottom, from that mainboard cooling fan. And actually, this is the main reason why I use this printer mostly in these review videos. I'm still lazy to change that fan, because I have other printers which are quieter out of the box. By the way, if I would change it, I would place there two notch fans. This works on 12 volts, but if I connect these two fans in series, in this case, I don't need the voltage converter. I'm not sure why this is not used more often in the CD printing, but uh, I'm only a mechanical engineer. If there is some problem with this, then write me down in the comment section. And now I will tell a secret for these Chinese companies. Using a bigger fan with smaller RPM has bigger flow, but they are much quieter. It's a secret. Another advantage of the enclosure which is not mentioned <laughs> that the printer will not collect the dust. Now this assembling is not only installing few side panels, but we also have the drag chain and we can do some other modifications too. But in this video I not include the assembling. For this you have the Sovos animation on their YouTube channel, but if you need more detailed version then I would suggest you to watch the Gergo Print YouTube channel. It's a smaller channel, but he is dedicated to Sovos printers mostly and he has a very detailed half hour long video about the assembling. Let's see the content of the box. I have the feeling that I opened the box from the bottom side, but there are no symbols on it. Looks like this is the tempered glass, not acrylic plastic, and there is a warning. Uh, printing with PLA, we need the front glass and the top glass open. In this package, beside this glass and the panels, we have the drag chain. This is some kind of insulation stick tape, a fan, user manual, and some tools and bolts for the assembling. In user manual, we have the assembling instructions on 14 pages. So this is why I will not include the assembling in this video, because there are dedicated videos for this. As I mentioned, one of them on the Sobol YouTube channel, and the other is the Gergo print. And very important first step of the assembly, which I want to mention, is to remove the filament and remove the power cable. The instructions in user manual and on the video from the Sobol 3D support are not equal. I'm following the video, but um, all my cables are shorter or drag chain is longer, but installation is not completely smooth. I removed last few links from the drag chain and now the length is correct, but I hope it is enough for the maximum Z coordinate. I will check this later. Here currently I'm rotating the printer because I want to plug the exhaust fan to the main board. <laughs> Just a reminder for me, the fan was here. And this is what I already mentioned earlier. I cannot see any fan on this power supply unit, so it, this means it has a passive cooling. But this fan, which cools these stepper motor drivers, is extremely noisy and it don't have the standby position, so it is always on. And this new fan goes into this slot. Just a small securing against these sharp edges. Placing back the bottom cover. And now preparing the exhaust fan with the filter. I think they should use some kind of cutter suck bolts here because they stick out and this doesn't align perfectly. By the way, I'm not sure that uh, this filter will have anything, but at least we can replace it with some HEPA filter if we want to, or we can just connect some pipe and exhaust the fumes outside. And last few steps are installing the side panels. Door installation plug nail and the screw.
installation of EBA tape, the last element and the assembling is finished. About the doors, I noticed that the left side will not stay open and this is important for the PL because we need the doors opened. I have to figure out some kind of support here. Maybe this is enough. <laughs> of course, as I predicted, the standby position is not quiet because that fan is from the bottom. It will be a little bit hard to see inside, but it is good that we have this LED light and later I will check the quality from the camera picture. Let's see if the exhaust fan works. I can hear that it works, maybe I can illustrate it with this piece of paper. And also this means I don't have to update the firmware. By the way, the exhaust fan is not loud, I will place here the microphone. And first I want to test it with the PLA and before I started with the installation I printed this Benchy and here I use this uh, Sunluz PLA Plus 2.0 in orange color and I marked this Benchy with number one and I want to reprint this Benchy using the same G code and I want to compare the quality. Mostly I want, I'm curious about this overhang here because I'm curious if the part point will be okay. But of course the printer will be open for this printing. I forgot to plug the clipper screen, so in the settings in more there are the fans and this one is for the exhaust fan. Let's reprint this bench using the same G code and there it is. Print. Even if it is hard to see but the start is good and actually this part calling fan is quite loud so let's quickly check the noise. Approximately 62 decibels and I will leave the microphone here. Fifty-three decibels, huge difference. Eh? It's a huge difference, you almost 10 decibels, but of course we don't really have the choice. With PLA we need this open and with ABS we need this closed. So far I cannot see any bigger difference in between these two benches, but of course I will analyze it when it's finished. The printing is finished, I can see a little bit more stringing compared to the version number one, but let's compare them side by side. Interesting, I can see more stringing on the bench printed inside the enclosure. I didn't know that it depends on the environment temperature. But besides the stringing, every other parameter is the same on these two benches. The overhang came out perfectly in both cases. The bridging, the windows, the chimney. So except the stringing, these two benches look equal. Let's check the maximal Z coordinate. Currently I'm on 310 millimeters and not the top panel is the limitation by the drag chain. Now if you remember I mentioned during the installation that my cable was too short and I have to remove few links of the drag chain and now it is too short. In case your printer arrived with a longer cable in that case you can go even higher but in my case the maximum Z coordinate is 300 millimeters. And now I can unload the PLA filament and correctly it is extruding a little bit and then pull out the filament. And it is time to print something from the ABS and I will not preheat the chamber, I will just start the printing because at the beginning it is heated by the bed, only after a few millimeters it became critical because it depends a lot from the temperature of the air around it. And I want to have at least two hours printing and I will measure the temperature inside the enclosure. The filament is changed, ready for printing. These are the test objects I will print and you can see the printing will be almost two hours. And here you can see the settings, 260 on the nozzle, 95 on the bed, and here you can see the cooling settings. Print. This is the current position of the sensor, now I have this small gap, but I hope it will not affect too much the temperatures. 
and so it will start with the printing. The current room temperature is 26 degrees Celsius and it already preheated the enclosure to 33 degrees Celsius. Not easy to present this on the camera, but uh, this is not easy printing. As you can see, it has a very small contact surface on the first layer. And if this material has tendency to warp, it will warp. But the first layer looks good so far, and uh, if I will have some problems, then I will retry using the glue stick. I can hear that the Xeus fan is enabled by default, lock, so let's quickly disable it. Settings, fan, and here it is. After exactly 15 minutes, the temperature inside is 40 degrees Celsius on this location. Printing is approximately at 5 mm, and this is the most critical part, and the temperature inside the enclosure is 46 degrees Celsius, which is enough now. The printing is at 35%, objects are perfectly stride, there is no sign of the warping, and the temperature inside the enclosure is stabilized around 49 degrees Celsius. I don't think it will go much higher because this is still a very big volume, but this is good enough for the ABS printing. This is that critical bridging moment, but uh, it is handled correctly. As I predicted, the temperature stabilized around 50 degrees Celsius, which is not bad for the passive heating and this big volume. Printing is finished few seconds ago, just quickly, bad adhesion check. Which is good. Yes, I can feel it from this purge line. I wait until the bed cools down. And actually only now after the printing I need that exhaust fan to be enabled and it was enabled by default so it is correct but not during the printing. On my main printers I'm using this hole in wall but even here I'm enabling the exhaust fan only after the printing because I don't want it to reduce the chamber temperature. The bed temperature is 58 degrees Celsius, let's see how easy it is to remove it now. Oh, perfect. This is holder for the batteries and I really like to print this from the ABS or at least PETG because after the charging sometimes they may become hot and the PLA is not good for this. Conclusions for the end. If you want to print ABS, ASC or similar technical filaments, in that case this enclosure do the job. Now my SV08 was one of the very early products and in this case the extruder cable was too short, I have to reduce the length of the drag chain and with this I reduce the maximum Z coordinate to only 300 mm. Now if you print mostly PLA, in that case I wouldn't recommend you to use the enclosure because uh, in my case I only experienced a little bit more stringing but uh, some other YouTubers also experienced quality reduction with the PLA, for example Gergo printed his assembly video but uh, of course this depends on the environment, room temperature and other things. About noise, yes, it will reduce the noise from the part cooling and the hot end fan, but we don't really have the choice. With PLA we need this open and with ABS or similar we need this closed. This was my experience with uh, this enclosure, which I mentioned works great and <laughs> looks nice actually. If you have some other experience, write me a few lines down in the comment section. Thank you for watching and happy printing!